morning and happy Monday. Uh, it is 20 past 9. I'm just back from the school run. You're gonna have to excuse the freeziness today. It's a very damp and bad outside. So it's gonna be a very freezy day. Um, I'm gonna make myself some breakfast and I'm gonna start with coffee. I have a headache, which I've had since yesterday, which is kind of a migraine type of thing. But my time of the month is coming soon, so I don't know if it's that or if I'm coming down with a cold. I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm gonna take some painkillers because I don't like to take painkillers just before bed for headaches because sometimes lack of sleep can cause them. But after night's sleep, it's still, well, interrupted, but still a night's sleep. It's still there, so I'm gonna take some painkillers. This little guy has had painkillers, so he's in a, in a okay mood. Um, still very stuffy, and he didn't have very restful sleep last night, so he's tired. So hopefully he gets a good nap at some point today. Um, and yeah, I feel very satisfied starting the week with nothing to do carried over from last week, which I haven't done. Does this make sense, this sentence? You know what I mean, I'm sure. Um, I'm gonna work on new sticker designs this week, um, which I'm hoping to release uh, next Monday. Um, but I'm not gonna announce anything yet, officially, uh, until I know for sure. Sorry, I'm just trying to get my breakfast started. I'm gonna use my gnome mug. Um, I'm gonna make myself some coffee, but I'm gonna use a like an instant. If I put the kettle on, it will be better. There we go. Well, I turned it on, but the plug was off. Um, I'm gonna use one of the. Um, I'm gonna show you some these. Yeah, one of these Nescafe thing. Actually, we like the vanilla coffee, the vanilla cappuccino one. Out, sorry. So the weather was not good but dry for ages and every time this is what happens as soon as I have to leave for the school run. Crazy wind and rain. I'm gonna get soaked again. <laughs> I am soaked down to my underwear. <laughs> so I'm gonna, <laughs> gonna change. We got soaked. See what I showed you earlier? It went nuts after that. That was nothing. So I'm gonna get changed because I have a raincoat which is not waterproof anymore, which is defeats the purpose of a raincoat. One has a very good raincoat, but his legs are soaked. So I'm gonna get changed now. I think it's gonna be pajamas for everybody and hot chocolate. Yeah. It's always really hard to capture rain. I just wanna try and show you why we got soaked. And now we're making hot chocolate. What is it? Uh, the most little one is mine. Yeah, it's cooling down a little bit. I'm gonna put mine in the um, in the microwave not to heat up. And then mine. Yours is already warmed up, but it's a bit too hot for you, so I'll just leave it in to cool down for a wee second. They're having some monkey hugs here. Hello. Never lasts very long with mm -hmm. oh. Hey. Wow. <laughs> Gentil Alfie. Mm. Oh, watch what is a bit grumpy still. Chanty Alfie, tout seulement. Chanty. No, the summer. Oh God, perfection is still a bit <laughs> brutal. <laughs> Does Alfie love hugs? Does he love hug? Not too much. Not too much. Do you love hug? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he loves. It's 22 eight now, and I've been doing quite a lot of work on a new sticker kit, which I'm really happy with so far. Still need to do a bit more work, but I should have it finished tonight. And we're now going to bring Owen to bed. James is trying to get Alfie to sleep. So James has Alfie and I have Owen <laughs> to get in their beds. Bye. So what book did you pick tonight? A dog. Is that your favourite book? Yeah. Owen wants dog all the time. Don't you? Not 
Oh, you got one time. almost all the time. Yeah. Right. Let's read it. Anyway. Um, guys. <laughs> um. Um. After school on Friday, I'm going to carry on making um um Axel um Axel Tower. Me and my daddy are going to barbecue it. He's talking about Minecraft, by the way. In survival mode. In survival mode. Yeah. Okay. Right. Well, it's not Friday yet. It's only Monday. Okay. Yeah. So let's let's get to Tuesday first, and then we'll see about Friday. Okay. Yeah. Did you tell them that what was going to happen on Friday if you were a very good boy all week? I'll get a game called. Is it King Quest or something like that? Yeah, King Quest. Right, James saw a game on offer that Owen would like, so he said that if he was a very good boy all week, he would get it for him, but only on Friday, because Owen only plays games on at the weekend, don't you? Yeah. Right, right. shall we read the dog now and go to sleep? Unless, well, well, I'm allowed to play games if it's not the weekend, only when we're only like in the hallway <laughs> at the start. In the down the third bathroom and then the office. Yeah, when when there's work happening in our house and we are a bit stuck, aren't we? Yeah. But the work is done now. Yeah. It's all finished. So now it's back to normal rows only when there's no school. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Right, let's get this read. It is 20 past 11 now, but I decided I would vlog a little bit. James has asked me for my, for my help to do one of my jobs. I'm gonna trying to find what I have to do. This is my job. Can you see this spider? Well, it's actually really big. Okay, fair enough, it's big. I'm gonna get a cup. James doesn't like spider. Well, I wouldn't touch this one with my hand when I was going to die, but I don't really mind them. So I am going to Give it. Hmm? But uh, yeah, I'm gonna need to put something underneath first because I'm gonna catch that. I got the beast. It's pretty big. I'm gonna put it outside now. I don't like to kill spiders, <laughs> so I usually throw them in the garden. It's playing dead, there, it's trying not to move. Good morning and happy Tuesday everyone. It is 20 to 8 and so far we've been very very productive. Um, when he's having his breakfast, are you eating? Well, he's kind of eating his breakfast while being in his little world. <laughs> uh, Alfie is still in bed but he's starting to wake up. I have all the laundry that I need to wash today ready to go downstairs. I'll just start it whenever we come back from school so then I know I have like an hour and 15 minutes after the first one. and. It, it makes sense in my head. Um, Owen's bag is ready with his lunch inside for school. Um, I'm dressed, I've touched my hair. I was gonna say I, have, I did my hair but it's not really the word at the moment with the weather the way it is. Doing any kind of fancy stuff is not really an option anyway. Um, brush my teeth, wash my face, so I'm ready to go. I just need socks and shoes. Owen needs to get dressed and then I have his outfit. Last night, uh, I installed on my new uh, a new this tablet, uh, the app for the um, shop. We shop in Tesco's. If you live in America, I don't know what the equivalent would be. If you live in France, the equivalent would be Carrefour. Um, and um, I installed the app thinking, because I don't always have my laptop around with me now, I just thought I might as well just have it there so then when I need to order my shopping tomorrow, I can I can do it on the, on the tablet to try it. And I just thought I would go and log in, put all my details in the app so all my saved stuff come up, and I ended up doing the shopping without mm -hmm. noticing. It took five minutes, that when it usually takes me about 20 minutes. Yeah? I'm watching Gojet at the same time. He's watching Gojet at the same time. In which country are they going to today? Um. The, the one of the world? At the bottom of the world, okay. Is that called Antarctica? No, it's called the Arctic. Arctic? Yeah. No, the, is the Arctic not at the top of the world? No, it's 
No, there's two rackets. No, but the bottom one is the Antarctic, it's called. Yeah. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> I had it out suddenly there. Um, uh, anyway, I... Um, yeah, we're getting a new fridge today. <coughs> we have a fridge which, if you live in America, would be tiny for you. If you live in Europe, would be pretty average for you. But for a family of four, it's just simply not enough. We always have to control how much we buy in our weekly shop um, in terms of fresh stuff or amount of vegetables that need to be kept in the fridge. And sometimes it's actually costing us more money to do that because we need to shop more often to be able to have room in the fridge. And there's a lot of times where there's like stuff that can last longer, like yogurt or you know thing we buy regularly, uh, which if we buy if we bought more at the same time would cost us less money, and we can't do that because uh, we don't have the space. So when we were getting the new the kitchen, we thought we'll just get a new fridge which is bigger, uh, so we can on the long term actually save money. Uh, our fridge, uh, our current fridge is. Um, being is being sold and it will be lifted on um, Sunday uh, so it will live in the office for the minute but I'll just clean it in the meantime but we are getting what is called in Europe an American fridge which is has to you know the two doors one the fridge on one side and the freezer on the other side ah okay Owen says that in this country it's called a sideways fridge What do you call that in America? Do you call it an American fridge anyway, or do you call it something else? Anyway, what do you call, what do they call this in America? Do you think? Um, I call like a sideways fridge in like France, you mean? Oh, in France? No, in France it's called frigo américain, which means American fridge. <laughs> uh, I think I think in, um. I think like in the um, I think in like the, I think and think it like would would go there right now. In the Antarctic, do you really think they need a fridge in the Antarctic? No, like <laughs> they call it in the Antarctic um sideways penguin fridge. Sideways penguin fridge. So if you live in the Antarctic, because we all know. So many people live there. Uh, apparently, it's called a sideways penguin fridge. Only at that place. Did you know that there was nobody living in that place, Owen? Like, only they come for penguins. Holidays, dog. No, only penguins live there. And some scientists go there sometimes, but that's it. Nobody actually lives there. Yeah, yes, yes scientists, uh, only penguins and scientists. Come out to find it. Yeah, it's so hard to find, that's why. Anyway, <laughs> roll on the rest of the day. I was literally about to roll, and I was gonna I have to wake up here to go to school. But I woke up before I even got to press the button. So, um, I'm about to get a win, and then the fruit delivery could uh, happen anytime after that. So, I'm gonna head down to school and come back quickly to make sure. I'm here when they arrive if they do. It could be between now and 7 p.m. So I'm gonna go quick. Do you remember the way this morning I was telling you how everything was going to plan even if I was not planning to like being super productive and all that? Scrap it all. <laughs> I jinxed myself. <laughs> Nothing is going to plan right now. I am trying desperately to get stuff done. Nothing is happening. Alfie is just... <laughs> um... I don't even know how to describe his behavior at the moment. Destructive. The way I, I described him to James, he was like a mini destructive terrorist, basically. And I know he's my child and I love him and all that. But honestly, sometimes dealing with a toddler is just really tough. He just has tantrums for the most random things. Like extreme tantrums, like screaming, rolling himself on the ground, so angry. Earlier it was because he could not close the drawer properly. It's it's to that extent and it's it's exhausting. It is literally draining the life out of me right now. 
James is home and the shopping is here and I thought I would show you something. The fridge is there. It's gone down to the right temperature. And there is the food inside. And now I officially have a cheese drawer. It's meant to be a fridge and veg one, but I have two massive ones and we never buy that amount in one go. So I've used one for the fruit and veg, well the veg really, the fruit I keep out, and one for the cheese. And then it's handy because we have more, we didn't have any room like that for bigger bottles, so that's quite handy. And then the freezer, which our other one was bursting really. Um, and I've been able to do that. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to keep the open stuff uh, on that side. Uh, apart from stuff, you know, we don't use a lot. So then, for example, there I have a new box of the chicken and fish. So I'm going to use these up first. And then when we have new one, we put them here. And we it rotates this way. We don't end up with stuff at the very bottom of the freezer that gets forgotten about. And I've kind of done a drawer for the boys uh, with their stuff. And like uh, all different uh, fruit and veg, all the ice creams and ice lollies, kind of meat, veg that I use on a more regular basis like green beans and onions and cauliflower and there's like peas and rice and vegetable there and this is kind of the rest of stuff but yeah I'm very very pleased with our fridge freezer and yeah it's at the perfect temperature now the end of the day and <laughs> I'm glad it's there um I am um, the afternoon was very very stressful and <laughs> very stressful um so Owen is going to bed now um and Alfie hopefully will go to bed soon after that I have our dinner in the oven it's gonna be definitely an early night and I'm gonna save my shower for the morning to help wake me up um, sometimes I have my shower in the evening because if I want to have a shower in the morning I need to have it before James leaves and I need to wake up earlier to have it in the morning. I do prefer, I would prefer to have my shower in the mornings all the time but sometimes it's just not convenient so a lot of the time I have it in the evenings but I think tomorrow I'm definitely keeping it for the morning because this morning I could have done with one. Um, <coughs> I'm gonna go stop the vlog here and yeah I will see you tomorrow for another vlog. Bye!